Okay, this is part three of some work I'm doing on FT101 ZD Mark III. So far we've gone through the receiver, now we're going to look at the transmitter. Uh, just to walk you through the test setup, test setup first of all, uh, starting at the, at the input to the radio we have um, two-tone signal generation, two-tone testing. Uh, one tone is set to, probably can't see too well with the glare up there. One tone is set to uh, 1.8 kilohertz. The other tone is set to 800 hertz. They're being combined and fed into the microphone input here. Then on the output side, we have the transmitter output being fed to a bird through line watt meter. It's a 250 watt stub covering 2 to 30 megahertz, uh, which means 100 watts will read round about, not round about, exactly half scale thereabouts. It's about, it's about there when we're tuning. And the output of the watt meter is fed to an Agilent directional coupler to sample the. RF. Not a strictly correct way to do it here, but I've got a little T here, uh, so I can take the sampled RF. One part of it goes to the spectrum analyzer, so we can look at the two-tone intermodulation distortion, and the other bit of RF goes to the oscilloscope here, so we can look at the actual envelope in real time, make sure we're not flat topping. And the power itself gets dumped into 600 watt dummy load on the floor there. So that's a brief walk through the setup. But the first thing we've got to do, because we just put some new 6146s in this rig, is to uh, neutralize the PAs. So what I've done, I've removed the accessory plug from the back, which means we've only got the driver on. And I prefer to neutralize the PA cold, i.e with no sort of heaters on and look at the sampled RF coming out of the antenna socket and uh, tuning it for a minimum. So what I'll do here, I'll put it into tune like that, turn up the drive to full and we'll just set the analyzer here to look at the output. I'll just leave it like that for a moment. Make sure we're on. Drive is up, tune, amplitude, we'll just uh, increase the amplitude, put it into tune, show that, that would be better. So that's the signal leaking through the PAs. And the idea is to actually tune the driver for a maximum power output, of course. like that, peak the PA, even though it's not working at the moment, and we'll put about three there, okay, now I must confess I've already neutralized this, um, this PA, so that is about as good as it gets in terms of leakage. But I'll just purposely denutralize it <laughs> and you'll see what happens when I tweak the trimmer inside it. This little hole in the top of the PA compartment made for a little trimmer tool. And we can look at the resulting output. Now this is just leakage from the driver stage through the PA. That's 10 dBs per division and ideally there should be no leakage at all but the fact is that there's always going to be some so I'm just going to tweak this little trimmer here and you'll see that signal increase quite dramatically and I'll just tweak it again tune it for a minimum which is about there and now we can be fairly sure that PA is nicely neutralized and uh, so peak output should correspond fairly close to where the uh, dip on the PA is. Alright, so now what we do 
we turn the radio off just for a second turn it all off to be sure we'll take the accessory plug debris plug that in the back like that turn it all back on again so that's applying uh, heaters to the PA now so now we can see how much power we can get out of it in tune mode taking care not to um, overcoot the PAs so I'm not sure I can get this in shot here we'll just start off doing carrier first of all and we'll see how we go on for power output here okay remember that this is a 250 watt slug so we won't get it full scale but we will get it to read up to about the 10 on the top scale there if we're lucky okay we're in tune mode we'll back the drive off we'll key the radio let's make an adjustment to the analyzer first so we don't put too much signal into that Okay. So now we'll just carefully turn up the drive you can see the power meter starting to read okay now because I've already tuned it uh, before with no actual output it shouldn't be too far off so we'll just try and peak it a little, little bit like that so about 75 80 watts at that point not keeping the drive up for too long because like so we don't want to toast the PAs too much here. I'm keeping an eye on the cathode current. Just gonna stop the camera a moment so I can get myself a bit more comfortable. <laughs> 